Hey, Tourpreneurs, it's Mitch Bach. And just a quick note before we begin today's episode, Tourpreneur is currently sponsored by Google. We're thankful for their support of our community, and we are offering with them a completely free course helping you unlock the power and potential of Google's Things to Do program, which is specifically helping tour operators add their tours to Google in new ways that gives you new exposure and more direct bookings. To learn more, go to tourpreneur.com slash Google. And as always, show notes, more resources, links to our newsletter, our business coaching community, and so much more are available on tourpreneur.com. Now to the episode. Today's episode of the Tourpreneur podcast is kindly sponsored by Checkfront, the booking platform trusted by over 5,000 tour and activity operators around the world. This month, Checkfront is offering an exclusive 90-day free trial for tourpreneurs. Find out more at checkfront.com forward slash tourpreneur. Welcome to the Tourpreneur Podcast. Travel industry veteran Shane Whaley will take you on a journey with fellow tourpreneurs, sharing their tips, ideas, insights, and success stories to inspire you to make your tour business the best it can be. And now, here is your host, Shane Whaley. And welcome back to the 30-day Things to Do Challenge for Tour Operators. It's day three. We have a new guest today. Welcome back to Tourpreneur, Angela Heald. How are you, Angela? Hi, Shane. I'm doing great. Welcome to day three. Very exciting. One of my favorite topics, this one. Try a new OTA. That's right. So I find the first few days of a challenge are always really motivating. And that's kind of why we put this one early, because my hope is that after people complete this challenge, which is try a new OTA, they will have learned a lot more about the OTA ecosystem. What's the part of the challenge? What are we asking our listeners to do? So the challenge is kind of twofold. Um, We know that most operators are already using the main OTAs like Viator or Get Your Guide. And we hear all the time that they found them to be a fairly easy marketing channel. But um, what is important is taking the time to analyze the metrics and truly understand the performance of the channel. So what is sort of the true cost of doing business with the current OTAs? So before you can really dive into today's challenge, it's important that you understand your current performance with the OTAs you currently use. So that's the first thing you're going to start out by doing is sort of digging into those performance metrics. Yeah, and and like how on the PDF, you've added new OTAs to try, because depending where you are in the world, if you're in Europe, you're familiar with Get Your Guide. If you're in the US, you're familiar with Viator. So you've listed others here that we may not be familiar with. And what I advise with this challenge is, you know, the OTAs right now, obviously, they are facing their own challenges during this pandemic. Some of them are not taking on new product. Um, But that doesn't mean we can't take time to research who's out there, who's doing what. And if you're interested is to, to send an email to that OTA and actually start the ball rolling, whether you end up working with them or not, now is a good time to start the conversations, isn't it? Absolutely. And like I said, one of the main benefits of today's thing to do is that you're going to end the day with new information. So even if it's currently not the right time to try the OTA, though, if you can, we do encourage it. Um, You are going to end with uh, learning more about the OTAs that you're interested in. Um, So to start, you're going to have a spreadsheet with five columns. Um, The columns will be for features, benefits, disadvantages, commission rates, and geographical focus. And then you're going to pick some OTAs that interest you that you don't currently use and essentially list bullet points under each of the five columns. And that's going to give you just a wealth of data that you can refer back to again and again. Yeah, I think that's a smart idea. And also, when you're completing this challenge, if you're struggling to know about the geographic focus of a particular OTA, feel free to ask on the Tourpreneur group. And uh, remember, we have members there from you know, almost 2,500 members from all over the world. So some of that will be able to help you out as well. Uh, Angela, that's day three. Thank you. Thanks, Shane. Thanks for listening to the Torpreneur podcast. Be sure to visit torpreneur.com to join the conversation and access the show notes, including links to the resources mentioned on today's episode. This is Torpreneur.